Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside the Him. All right, you guys, so you saw my mixed gingham dress. And as you know, it has snaps all the way down the center front. So for today's Tuesday Toot, I thought that I would show you guys how to install the snaps because it can be a little bit tricky. They do provide this lovely illustration here with some, you know, itemized instructions, but it's still hard to make heads or tails of what's going on here. So I thought if you had a visual that you could refer to anytime, then you would be more inclined to use the snaps and I really love them. So if you don't know, this is what we're going for. We have a snap here and it attaches and that's what holds it closed. So here are the things that you will need. So obviously you need your garment. You need the pattern piece that has where the buttonholes are supposed to go. This can either be a separate little strip like this, or it may be already attached to your uh, center front bodice pieces. So look for that. You also need a hammer, a single uh, pin. You need a pencil. Well, more importantly, you need the eraser end of a pencil and you need your snaps as well as a snap setting tool, which looks like this. So we're gonna talk about snaps and snap setting tools here really quickly. And I'm gonna try to not get enraged by the fact that there are many sizes of snaps and many sizes of snap setting tools. And for every size snap you have, you must have a separate snap setting tool. It's really annoying, but I wanted to show you. Here are just a few of the different snap setting tools that I have, and none of them work for the snaps that I have picked out. But to find the tool that you need, more often than not, they, well, I say that, that's probably not even true. For the snaps that I bought, it says right here for applying 981 heavy duty snaps. And then the snap packaging said, that's for something else. The snap packaging said heavy duty snap fasteners require setting tool 981T. So you know that these two things go together. So when you go to purchase the snaps for your garment, just make sure you have the right setting tool. Otherwise, You'll go back to your sewing room and be unable to finish the product project because you literally, you cannot use anything else other than the tool it um, suggests. If you do, uh, I don't know, somehow miraculously, it doesn't work. And I don't know why, <laughs> it's really, really annoying. Um, but so yeah, just make sure that you have the snaps and the tools that go together. Okay, so the first step after you've gotten all of your supplies together is to take your garment and more often than not, whenever I'm doing a button band, I will wait till the very end to even apply the, or transfer the markings for the buttons. The main reason is because I wanna try this on and I wanna make sure that there is a snap or a button that's going across my bust apex. That's gonna make sure that it's gonna keep it nice and closed uh, in the area where it is most important and there won't be any gaping. So what I did was is I tried this on and uh, closed up the band and put a pin in where that goes. And then that was right here. So then I took my pattern piece for my button band and I lined up the fold line with the outer edge of the garment. I did a better job than I'm going to be able to do on this video, but you want to make sure that it's nice and even. And then I took this uh, third button hole and moved it down to where the center of that pin was, completely ignoring the seam allowance that is on the top edge of the garment you're supposed to line up the top edge with the seam allowance little dots. These little dots are five eighths of an inch down. You're supposed to put it here. But if I put it there, 
if I put it where it was supposed to go like that, I would be off by, I don't know, what is that? Quarter of an inch, maybe three eighths of an inch, which doesn't seem like much, but I don't know. I just wanted it to be right where I knew the center of the bust was. So I put a little dot there and then I used the rest of the button band to mark where the rest of the dots go only on the right hand side of the garment. The left hand side we will get to in a moment and I'll show you how I find out where those uh, snaps go so that everything closes up perfectly and still remains aligned. So go ahead and make all of your markings. And then once you've done that, get out the four pieces of your snaps. So you are going to have, and I'm gonna try and use the terms that they use while showing you what they are. So this is called a decorative prong, and it's the one that's like finished, what you're gonna see on the outside. Then you have a socket, and the socket is this guy. Looks like a donut, and you're gonna put it, and I'll show you this as we, as I demonstrate it, but it, this is the right side of the socket, and this is the wrong side. So, and then you have your prong. This is called a prong. And then finally, this one is called a stud. And I have a really X-rated way of remembering why this is called a stud. So use your imagination. <laughs> and then you need your uh, snap setting tool, your single pin, your pencil, and your hammer. Okay, so we are going to attach the snap to this dot right here. First step is to take your decorative, I already forgot what it's called, decorative prong. The decorative prong goes on the right side of the button band, right hand side of the garment and the right side of the garment. And you are going to be placing that right over the center of that, uh, mark that you made, centering the prongs over them. And now we're trying to push all of those spiky prongs through our two layers of fabric as well as the interfacing that is in there. So depending on how, how thick your fabric is, how much interfacing you use, this is going to be a little bit of a process, but kind of just use your nails and push it down as best you can. And then when you get it pretty close, lay this down super flat, making sure nothing is in the way. Don't ask me how I know that you can <laughs> snap your garment together, which is really annoying. Okay, take your eraser and get it, pretty much you're stabbing the eraser with the prongs because you just wanna get this fabric as deep down into the prongs as you possibly can. Then you take this little disc part of your snap setting tool kit, slip it underneath, and the, the uh, decorative prong, is I'll show you, is going to fit perfectly in there. So you have your little cup with like has a little edge around it, and this slips perfectly in there so it's nice and stable. Okay, same thing happens whenever you go to put your prong in. Same thing, I'll show you that. Um, okay, so slide this in there so it's nice and stable. And then you take your, shoot, what's this called? <laughs> the terms are not, uh, socket. The terms are not second nature to me yet. Okay, and again, this smoother, bigger part is the side that goes face down, okay? Now, you take this little guy and you place it over your socket. And as you can see, I'm trying to wiggle it around, that's also stable. When I wiggle it, the, the, out, the whole garment is trying to move. So I know everything is locked and loaded. Now you are going to take your hammer and you are going to gently tap. You do not need to whack this. This is not going to be the time where you're going to get out a lot of aggression. This is just like a gentle tap 
maybe five of them and you'll kind of hear where it becomes less shallow. I don't know, it just starts to sound different. So let's see if I can get you guys to hear that. Did you hear that? So I think I hit it six times, no big deal. You lift it up and you've got a perfect right side of your snap. Okay, so now for the other side. <clears throat> I promised you guys a little trick on how to know that your snaps are gonna line up. So what I do next is now that I've got one in place, I can snap it closed and I Place the outer edge of this button band, line it up with the inner edge of the other button band. And I've got this little, I don't know, this little thing here that can somewhat leave an impression if you push hard enough. And then when you lift up, you should be able to see an itty bitty impression in there. You guys might not be able to see it, on camera, it's pretty subtle, but I know it's there. Right about there. Now, so we have our little dot here. So now we need to push um, this little prong guy up through the wrong side. So you need to transfer this little dot to the wrong side. I like to do that by just putting in a little pin and then centering the prong over the pin. That way you're not marking it up too much. Push that through the fabric again. You can remove the pin now. And again, you're re repeating what the first step that we did where we're just trying to get this, all the five of these, six of these, I don't know how many there are, prongs through all of the layers of fabric and interfacing. Keep pushing. Okay, now put your disc down, lay your prong over the disc, take your pencil, your eraser, and start pushing all around. You're pretty much going to destroy the eraser, so make sure it's a pencil that I guess you don't totally love, I don't know, <laughs> or maybe one you don't really need the eraser for. It'd be a good one for like a stub of a pencil if you've got like pencil scrap or something. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, so now we're gonna take the stud. See, that one I was able to remember, word association. Okay, and then that gets laid over top of the prong. You can, you can feel it kind of snap into place. Now this little tool also has like a little donut in it where this little stud thing is gonna stick right in the middle of there. And again, all locked in place. So again, you just tap, tap, tap. Ta-da! Okay, so now you have your beautiful ringed stud, your male side of your snaps and ta-da! So I'll show you this one. All right, and just like that, you have to imagine all my snaps are done, but here's two of them. And it's super easy. And in a way, I kind of feel like it's easier than buttons. But that's just me. I also like how there's not like a big hole in your fabric, you know? I like that too. Um, you can wedge these off if you decide you don't like them. There will be the holes from, that the prongs made, but I don't know, if you decide you don't love them, it's easier to remove than buttonholes, that's for sure. But you can wedge them off using like the dull end of a butter knife or something.
there you go. That is how you add snaps to a garment. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful and I will see you all very soon.